Thank you for coming to join and listen to this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to not have cable or satellite bills anymore. And while you're at it, you're going to be able to then have your local TV, your expanded basic cable, the expanded all the way out basic cable, and then you're going to have premium channels, and then you're going to have the Redbox, Hulu Plus, and Netflix type of content as well. All streaming through the internet, and you'll never have a monthly cable bill again. So what I use for this is I have three setups. The first setup we're going to show is the Android TV box. It's a dual core. It's a MX box, actually, is the model. Jelly Bean operating system, 4.2. It's a 1.5 gigahertz processor, 1 gig of RAM, 8 gigs on the hard drive. So I'm going to throw the box up in front real quick so you can get a little look. See if I can give a little bit more autofocus on it. There we go. So anyway, that's what I'm using. Can't unplug it all from the TV right now. It's already plugged up. But that's what we're working with. Alright, so now I'm going to get into the goodies and power this stuff up. Let me power on the TV for you. I'm going to power up the MX box. I also have this hooked up to my home theater surround sound in my game room. So uh, I can run this with an HDMI wire to from the box, the MX box, to the TV itself. Or I can run it through uh, digital optical, digital coaxial cable, much like a digital optical. Or I can do the traditional um, feed of the RCA cables, red, white, and yellow, if you don't have an HDMI. So you have different ways of connecting audio and video into your TV. So one of my friends uh, was asking, can you put this in through a TV that's an old, you know, big screen tube type thing? I said, yeah, you got RCA cables, you can do that. Not a problem. So it's flexible to even old TVs. So here we are on the home screen. There's two remotes I'm going to show here. The first remote is what comes with the box. It's an Android typical remote like anything else. I'm not a fan of it, but that's just me. We'll see why later. It's good for flipping around as you see like that. Uh, the only two things on this page are really the navigation here. If you want to use it to search the internet, you can use the search the internet. So I already have things preloaded on there. Otherwise, you go into the web browser. I'm not going to go into that right now because that's not what we're here for. I'm going to back out and I'm going to go over and click and use the remote to go into all apps. All apps is what we really want to be on. With that said, I'm going to move over to my controller I use for this and I'll show it to you later on at the end of the video. It is a Lenovo Mini keyboard that is uh, wireless and it has a QWERTY keyboard on there. It's a multimedia center uh, handheld device and it actually has a digital um, optical mouse trackpad on it. So it's like being able to use a keyboard with a mouse just in your handheld. So the good thing about it is I can fly around the cursor like this. So I'm going to scroll down. Got a lot of different apps already added on here as you see. You got Chrome, you got browser, you got so forth and so on. So what we're here for is XBMC. XBMC is how we're going to dump the cable company and have a cable bill or a satellite bill ever again. This is the home page. XBMC is a software that's been around for a while. Originally it was called Xbox Media Center and was tied in conjunction with that. Um, so what I do for people is I load the MX with XB, I install the XBMC software onto the actual MX box. Then additionally, I program and load the software and the repositories and do the programming so this way you can get to the content because it doesn't come that way. You have to know how to load it and do the whole process. So that's part of what we do. And you'll be able to see the prices uh, for how much the MX box costs fully loaded with XBMC and all the various repositories and add-ons that I'm going to show you here, as well as what the cost is to load it on a laptop uh, that's Windows-based or a MacBook Pro or a desktop, which I can do remotely uh, via the Internet by logging on to a site with you to take control of your computer and load it for you directly, remotely. And then I also can do it on cell phones uh, that are smartphones, but you have to be locally here in Atlanta for me to do it for you. So, scrolling through this, as you see, I'm using the mouse pad. Weather, you can put the weather uh, map ad on here if you really want to have that. Pictures, you can add your own pictures in here. 
videos is what exactly we're going to see. Video add-ons are nothing but channels, and the channels then have channels inside of them. Music, Vivo, iHeartRadio, if you don't know what it is, like Pandora without the, the commercials. Um, iTunes, you can load your own iTunes stuff in here, but it's going to uh, basically, you're not going to have enough memory to, if you've got 5,000 songs. But you can do it through the cloud, through the internet, and it will share your hard drive information off of your own network. Mixed Cloud is something I like because it's like getting serious satellite radio. We have different mixes of DJs. Going over, we've got programs. NaviX, which is not up and running, it has nothing to do with, with XBMC, it just has to do with their own site. That's where you have live TV and you get basically streaming of live movies that are in the theater right now. Some older movies like you have on Netflix as well. Sick Beard and Couch Potato are helping you program uh, your shows, so if you're not around you really want to record your shows, you could record your shows. But there's no point of having to record your shows because what I'm going to show you is on-demand content. So you can watch any show you really want, even if you missed it when it was running live at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday like Scandal. If you want to watch it, it's already there. And system is just administrative stuff. So now I'm getting back over into the videos. The key five ones that I've added in and keep saved and stored are one channel which is like Netflix and Hulu Plus and Redbox. Non -film, not film on is where I can get local Atlanta TV networks, ABC, CBS, NBC, PBS, Fox, all that stuff, local Atlanta, because I live in Atlanta. Mashup is for live TV like CNN, ESPN, HBO, uh, Stars, Showtime, uh, MTV. You want to watch these things when they're happening, then you're going to go to that. The key really to that is you just want to watch a live sporting event or live CNN. That's for the most part that you're looking for. Because if it's on HBO, you can go find it on one channel, Project Free TV or Simply Movies or Ice Films, which we'll cover in a little while. Project Free TV is exactly what it is. It's free TV where I like watching Breaking Bad, so Breaking Bad is on there. Um, Suits is on there. The Newsroom, which is on which is HBO. Dexter, which is on Showtime. All the latest episodes of that is on there. Uh, Simply Movies is not exactly movies. They actually have TV shows. Like I said, the Breaking Bads, the uh, the Newsrooms, the Dexters, the Suits. So that's USA Channel, that's AMC, that's Showtime, that's uh, HBO. All that stuff lies on there, as well as all the movies. I actually watched Iron Man uh, the other night, Iron Man 3, which is not even out on DVD yet. And it was not a bootleg copy with the guy with the camcorder. It was a clean, like, promotional, in-the-theater copy as well as I watched Star Trek, which was just out, released two months ago in the theater in June, as, as well as I watched uh, Superman, which was released in June as well. So with that said, I'm going to move into what the add-ons are. And add-ons, as I explained to you, are nothing but channels. So, uh, make a quick rundown, because we're going to end up doing probably maybe two videos of this. You can end up doing a My Favorites and listing them out. I haven't done that for this purpose for you people who really want to be, you know, naughty, they have all your adult X-rated content. You've got a whole bunch of those. I explain what one channel is. If you like 80s music videos, if you don't want to go to Vivo or YouTube, then you can go to that 80s music channel. Um, academic Earth, so people who like some academic stuff, you know, learning stuff, Alaska HDTV, that's what you got there. Al Jazeera is a great news source from a viewpoint of outside United States. Aussie Rules Football is right there. And for cooking people, you've got America's Test Kitchen. You anime fans, there's five straight across here animes, plus there's about another three to five more that I've found. Um, another kitchen, cooking kitchen uh, person here. You Baltimore Ravens fans, this is your channel just meant for you. Another cooking going barbecue pit boys. CBS News, so I get you the latest CBS News. And by the way, I also set it up so it's got these big icons, these thumbnails. Usually it has a listing on there, but this kind of makes it easier for people this way. You can't get confused exactly what it says. People with kids, there's Cartoon World. There's also Nickelodeon one. And there's also uh, some other kids one. There's Kids WB and Kids something or other that we'll show later on. Crackle is a lot like uh, watching Hulu Plus or Hulu. You get a lot of old content. There's every 20 minutes is going to run like a minute of commercials, but that's basically what it is. If you're using the other stuff, you really don't need it because there's no commercials. 
Daily Motion, everybody knows, is nothing like, just like YouTube or Vivo. This is a good conspiracy theory site, so it's kind of fun. Um, you got some wrestling stuff here, Do It Yourself Network, Disney Junior, as I said, for the kids. You've got some uh, Bollywood stuff on here that we just passed through as well. ESPNs. These are, this is the better of the two ESPNs because you can go on there and you can see first take, you can see uh, pardon, PTI, pardon the interruption, those full shows each day. As well as you can see Sports Center, all the highlights are broken out into segments. This way, if you just don't feel like watching live ESPN, you can go do that. People who like uh, UFC and MMA, pretty much any MMA or UFC fight that's being aired live, you're going to be able to catch that there as well. All right, so Food Network, we're seeing that again. Fox News, Funny or Die, it's a bunch of comedians putting it together. They actually have this on YouTube, but it's really good funny stuff. Free Cable is exactly what it sounds like. Same stuff, you're going to be able to say, I want to watch ABC, NBC, I want to see those shows, I want to see A&E, AMC. They're going to make a list of all the shows on there, and you don't have to worry about watching it live because they're already residing on the network of information for it. You Glee fans, there you go. More anime next to it. You car people like me. High-tech Corvette, a lot of car stuff on there. Ice Films is just like having, once again, Hulu Plus, Netflix, and Redbox. Kids Place and Kids WB, I already mentioned that earlier. I Watch Online is going to give you all your TV shows and all your movie shows online again. It's another one. This is good for concerts. A lot of older concerts, but it's pretty cool. We got like Nirvana in there and Stevie Wonder. Mashup we already covered, but we're gonna go. We're gonna show these things when I go back to the front screen. The five that I use the most. MTV's video music jukebox. Uh, NBA for you sports people. NHL. There's some NFL there. Um, not film. I was already said as live network here in Atlanta. So you would just give you live network if you're living in New York City, if you're living in California, if you're living in New Orleans, it's going to pull that up as well. Reddit Music, uh, Sesame Street, once again for the kids. This here is for sports people who really want to catch live sports, so this fall I'm going to be using this for uh, live NFL on Sundays. So whatever NFL game is running live on Sunday, I'm going to be able to pull it up. And if it's in December, whatever NBA game is running live, I'm going to be able to pull it up. So that's what this What's going on right now? Same with MLB watching that as well. The Giddy Up Network is a lot like Mashup. You're going to have pre recorded stuff and then you're going to have live TV as well. 2 Plus is exactly what the name sounds like. It's YouTube meets Hulu Plus. So if you know exactly how that works, it's pretty self explanatory. I want to learn how to play the guitar. This You can learn how to play the guitar on here. Yeah, you know, they actually have instruction videos on that one, so that's pretty interesting. US TV Now is live broadcast network TV. So if you want to watch, it's Wednesday in the fall, and you want to watch Scandal at 10 o'clock along with your friends, and you don't have cable or satellite TV, you can watch Scandal as it's running live through that. It's actually streaming out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. So in addition to being able to watch it live stream, through not film on in your own local market with local commercials you can it's going to stream out of Harrisburg but it's the same content you're going to watch it live so we showed Vivo blah 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 UFC fighting so forth and so on so a lot a lot of stuff a lot of stuff I got 240 of them added on here so we're going to back out I'm going to move over to here and show this before I get into my next part on the second part of this video where I'm going to walk through the different channels on the add-ons. So, I'm going to show you a little trick I do that I will add on for you if you uh, decide to get one of the Android boxes. And like I said, the price is listed um, for an Android box fully loaded. The price is listed here in the description at the top of this YouTube page for what an Android box is. Um, multiple, if you buy multiple Android boxes fully loaded with XBMC by myself, then there's discounted pricing. If you end up getting, uh, having me installed on your laptop for you, or your desktop, or your Mac, I can do it remotely. If you're not here in Atlanta, 
and I can do volume discount and pricing. Just can't do your smart cell phone for you because it needs to be, I need to have access to it to do it. Can't do that remotely. So anyway, walking through here, we have different music channels, so 8-tracks. The ones I like, obviously, they're iHeart Radios. Uh, Groove Shark's pretty good. You got your own tubes. Icecast.org are as good as well. Uh, Mixcloud. If you want to do karaoke at a party for your house, you can do that. MP3 search. It'll search out songs for you uh, that way as well. Uh, kind of like Shazam. NPR is good, just news information from a radio format. And we've got Vivo as well. So that pretty much walks you through the first part of this video before I end up doing the demos showing you how the videos work. So thank you, and uh, we'll see you on the next part of this.